Okay, thank you everyone is all we really want to say. Thank you much for, so much for coming, for spending our time here. I know there's a bunch of different co-located events on today, some of which kind of overlap with this content. So it's great to see people here and coming in and out during the day and, and choosing content from the various schedules. Thank you for being engaged. I think there's been some really great questions and that says like so much about the quality of the talks and uh, what you folks all, all got out of them. Um, a couple of uh, places where we can keep the conversation going. So there's a, a essentially a set of kiosks, a set of booths mm -hmm. in the main exhibition space uh, for all of the major open source projects. Envoy has one. Um, it's going to be manned right by maintainers for most of the conference. Uh, yeah, so Envoy maintainers for the first couple of days, and then the gateway folks are taking over. So right. stop by before and after and meet people on both projects. Yep, you can see you've got any questions about that, or you want to volunteer. Um, and Envoy, as a graduated project, also gets a meet the maintainer uh, Q&A session on the main QCOM schedule, so that is 3.30 to 4 tomorrow. Yep, so if you have any other questions, uh, especially if you want to get more involved with the project, we often have people think they need to learn C++, but as Matt has said, every Envoy gone up until now, and I will take on carrying that torch for him, there are tons of ways to get involved if you're not a C++ programmer. The project would not survive without Flax, and he does it C++. Um, there's tons of stuff with tooling and CI support and dealing with GitHub, uh, which is not super exciting, but there's also stuff that, that again, will get you your code reviewed faster. If you, if you get to know the maintainers, you get to know the API reviewers, your code does get checked in faster. Uh, if you join the Envoy security team, you get the behind the scenes, what's going on with the releases and what do these patches look like. Uh, you get to be, hang out in Slack with the cool kids. So if you have any interest in getting more involved, again, reach out to us. We'll be uh, at the booth, we'll be at the maintainers, um, and we'll be on Slack if you miss us at both of those. Yeah, but if you want to dive in, issues on GitHub, some of them are marked as good for beginner, mm -hmm. which I think is often quite a good place to, to dive in, but do go on Slack and ask first. Say, hey, I'm thinking about picking this up. Here's my design. Here's what I want to do. Uh, usual stuff. Uh, the rest of the... Uh, <coughs> I'm still dying. The rest of the housekeeping um, is if anybody, is probably for the best, <laughs> if anybody uh, did have any code of conduct related issues, it's not too late to tell someone. We do take this very seriously, so please reach out. Um, the video, some people have asked about the, the slides and stuff. Uh, videos and PDFs of the slides uh, will be up soon. Speakers, please upload your slides in PDF form, but obviously the videos have been happening. They'll be up soon on YouTube, so you can tell your, your co-workers and whatever. Um, the, there will be captions, whether that's the magic of YouTube auto-captioning or whether they're going to be hard-coded in by Wordly. I don't know. I don't know how many languages you'll get on that, but we'll, uh, I'm sure we'll do our best to make it accessible. Uh, do remember that Paris <laughs> is not that far away. <laughs> if anybody was, wants to take part uh, for the first time or again next year, we'd love to hear from you. And now I think there's co-located event beers. I don't know where, but follow the, yeah. follow the noise, follow the smell. Find him and hope to see you there. Yeah, thanks all for coming. <laughs>